Hi YouTube. Um, today I will show you how we make a muzzle flash with blowback. So here's my finished product. And you saw this um, gun patron comes out of it. Okay, now let's begin. Okay, now after you uh, put your uh, footage in the competition and cut it so you have to beginning where you shoot and yeah okay now go and click Control D or Command D for duplicate then Go to the point where it's shoot, like before that, there, like this. Now make the first cut to, the, to this position and go one frame so you can p make a marker or you go page down on your keyboard. It was one frame and cut it to there and you can test it when you page page down page up okay okay now we want to rename it to blow back okay now uh, you can hit G or uh, the mask tool here hit G and you get the mask zoom in now mark um, around the gun here like this and choice the selection tool with your um, with the left and right on your keyboard it's the best way like this yeah that looks good now go to your effect on presets and type in blur. You get a lot. I use uh, the red red DL fast blur and select the sl selection on the blowback. Maybe a bit um, less. Okay, now we make the front of the gun so now we want to make the front of the gun so go to your second layer duplicate with command D or go to edit duplicate um, and rename it blowback front and go a bit behind you shoot like this maybe and shrink it to this and go direct under your first layer so zoom in here you see go page down this was one frame so cut it to one frame now go back and change the mode to difference. Now it looks very weird. Go here and hit T for opacity and go to um, zero. Now zoom in. And hit G for your mask tool and draw uh, uh, this here it's not very good but we can correct that later then around your gun and close it. Go back to mode 
and change it to normal. Then set the opacity back to 100 and you get this one here. Now we make the muzzle flash. Okay, now I found my um, fire um, smoke, fire stuff what comes out of the gun by detonationfilms.com I have it here. Okay, drag it and on the top of the um, of your layers. Now we want to see where it is for this here. Okay, I have here two frames and drag it on your part where you need it. Okay, now um, you see not where is all this uh, fire and my gun. Go to mode and go to add. Now you can see nothing but when you go forward with your page down you see the explosion. Okay, now we have to drag it in front of the gun but it's very big so I make it smaller that is enough we have this here Bam. now um, I will show you lighting so you see that it's fire the gun go to layer new adjustment layer you get it here now hit G for the mask tool, zoom in and first um, the first mask make around the fire so like this here a little circle or whatever you want. Now make the second uh, mask on your hands so hit G you get the mask and go around your hands. You can make it very detailed but I'm not really do that now. Go around your fingers, that's important because later you see that. Now go to your face and make the flesh there too. So hit G for the max mask tool and make in front of your face. I make that no very fast. It's only an example. Like this here. So now we have these three masks. So go now to effects color correction curves make it a bit higher and a second point a bit lower like this so it's a bit darker now go to red and make the red one a bit higher the green ones a bit down no a bit higher so it looks like a bit orange and the blue one a bit down so it looks all this light orange now go to adjustment layer hit MM and you get your three masks now the first mask is this here and it looks very orange so change the opacity a bit make it feather what you want Now the second mask on your hands, that's okay. Third mask, here you see it's very very dark on the top. Right. Okay, um, but feather it out. Not too much, like this, okay. Let's see what we have. 
Now you see here you can see the circle so you have to go to mask and ferret more out. That is okay. That we have now. So and you see um, after that uh, the light is there so you have to close it here and to go to this point where it's fired like this and cut it to this point. Now you can make the same page down. It was a frame so cut it to there. Okay and now we have a look. Oh, okay and shoot you see all this light. Light is gone and shoot is done. Okay, now um, I want to show you how to make a, a patron maybe. Um, I have made one with Photoshop and make it with the green one so I can use it with green screen. Now I have it here and put it on the top and you see it here. Looks not important but you can make it a bit smaller. But very important is so go to your effect and presets and type in key light. Here we have it. And drag it into your picture. Then choose this um, tool here. And choose a, a green one. Now you can go to back to the you see his are um, white uh, blah blah. You can go to the, the green color here, click on it and now you can change um, what green you have. So when go to here on this point I have this white stuff in it and when I change it it's gone. Okay hit W for rotation. Now you can turn around Go back to the selection tool. First we have to look um, where it's um, after the f fire. So go page page up. Here. Here it's have to okay make it smaller. Like this here. Okay. Now zoom out, Tri cut it. Now here it's begin to flip, <laughs> flip out. Um, go to click on the um, picture layer and click position, make a keyframe and go page down for a next step. Then make it whatever you want. Then page down, next step. So next step, next step, and next one. Like this. Okay, now go back to the beginning. Go to your layer, click and press, press R for rotation. Make a keyframe, press W. Now you can make a rotation, but not on the beginning, so go page down and rotate it a bit. Page down and rotate it. Page down and rotate it. Page down, rotate, page down. Okay, that's all. Now you can cut your layer to this point. Okay, now I show you what we have here. Now go page down and let's see. We have the fire and the um, shadows uh, from the fire here. Now we have the blowback on the front and on the back and the patron here. And the patron is flying. 
Okay, my name is Kelsey Dannenberg, and please don't forget for a comment. And when you like to see more tutorials of that, subscribe. I want to make I make more tutorials of this stuff. The so next doesn't work. Okay, bye.